So first and foremost, I will begin to explain to people that the origin point moving above the speed of light is an area in particular that we can call the limitless. It is abundant energy that never runs out. And so what happens is you have this beginning origin point as being limitless, non-divided. Everything that is and will be is you. So there is, there is what I call real involution. It's actually when you start to denote the processes of what is taking place in involution and evolution. This is either in, the more external you become what you turn into, or out, the more, uh, excuse me, in, the more internal it, what, what you turn into, and out, what externally you turn into, okay? So we have to see this process because it's very clear that we came from a high level of emanation of things moving beyond the speed of light in the etheric form, those substances in which all the things here on this earth in this density are formed from. So if someone tries to tell you myths like we evolved from apes, nothing higher can evolve from something lower. We are emanations that started somewhere else, which was an original origin point, and you can denote that as higher. And every single thing else that you see here on the lower planes is under a dominion meaning that the atomic kingdom masters over the, the natural or nature kingdom. Just as you see that man who carries the atom or at atom masters over the animals and the wild animals of the, the forest and also the wild animals in his inner verse, the urges, if he wants to or if she wants to and chooses to. So one of my major points today was just to slow it down there was no reason for me to rush through a conversation. Ah, oh, let's have a great show. Let's tap dance. Let's be sanctimonious. Let's make them smile. Let's do all these different things that just keep tugging more on their emotions in many tenses. But the question has to be asked, is the data, is the knowledge, is the application actually soaking in? Has the person's foundation become fertile enough to receive the message? Or has the consciousness still remained callous and hard as a rock or sediment, and it's just not penetrating to the areas that it needs to penetrate? Because what we'll actually show today is that consciousness, which is like a flaming fire, it's like a light in itself, when divided and beginning to divide itself, loses energy along the way of its division. And that many people are actually caught in a lower or a shadow world of their consciousness. And they don't have the light or inner light to actually see who is who and what is what around them. So we're going to talk about in every single aspect today of what goes on with you before you're born here on this physical incarnation. What, can, what you can do here now and also what goes on after this. So let me first begin again by explaining to you that our world, which has always been seen as an enclosed garden, is a circle. That all that is designed here is based on a phi type force or what's called a spiral force before they ever gave it that name. It's how you see the waves move how you see the curve of the mountains, the streams, that is the spiral force. So there are laws about the spiral force, like especially if you happen to be in an enclosed garden and you are continuously engaging in only physical things, physical concerns, then you only can move in a circle. This is that no matter how far you run across the planet, no matter how much you may feel like that is a straight line, it is in fact a circle. So no matter how much you attempt to do here until you, on the physicality, until you go into spirituality, which they always say moves 
now from what I'm seeing in the knowledge, it moves like a straight line because it's like a ray. When you see the sun coming out, it shows a beam, a straight line like a laser. Laser is one of the most, is the most straightest line. So this is the knowledge behind and in front of all of what's going on in the universe, and it's self-evident. It's something that you can go and find anywhere. It's not something that someone necessarily has to reveal to you unless you somehow forget. So we're going to talk about this stage of forgetfulness, and let me uh, get on top of my notes. I got a, quite a few uh, images, actually not a lot, but very powerful images that will give you an idea of exactly how this world is set up and what's going on, and also a group of perpetrators, perpetrators, individuals who have taken the knowledge and turned it inside out, changed the story, interpolated it, and have now trapped the entire world in their clutches of misinformation. 